dear students today's topic is basics of modulation in this i will discuss the modulation then then i will discuss why we use the modulation then we have the digital modulation and at last i will discuss the end of modulation versus digital modulation now the first question arises what is modulation modulation it is a process in which characteristics of a stereo signal is varied in accordance with the extraneous value of the message signal it means in this case the characteristics indicates either amplitude or frequency or phase let us suppose that if someone wants to travel from one station to another then what he will be do let us suppose the distance between the two station is 100 km so in this case it is not possible to uh, that he can travel or he can walk from one station to another station because distance is 100 km so for this so for this he want to take either bus or car or plane to travel from one station to another station so here we are the information and the bus or car is the carrier which takes us to the destination or this this the same techniques is generally used in the case of the modulation so in the modulation process the basement signal is called the modulating signal and another higher frequency signal is called the carrier signal it means the carrier signal in the higher frequency and the message signal in the lower frequency so the carrier signal would carry the modulating signal to the destination so the modulation can be a analog modulation or it can either be a digital modulation so is me kya ho raha in the modulation aap yahan pe dekh rahe hain in this the characteristics of carrier signal the carrier signal ki jo characteristics hai wo vary karti in accordance with the stress value of the message signal to kya hoga isme isme agar aap yahan pe dekhe to carrier ke hisab se yani ki jo characteristics hai ya to aapka amplitude hai ya frequency hai ya phase hai to ye message signal ke stress value ke corresponding vary karti hai agar amplitude vary kar raha hai So that is known as amplitude modulation. If frequency vary kar rahi hai, then that is known as the frequency modulation. If phase vary kar raha hai, that is known as the phase modulation. You can see that in this we have the message signal, the low frequency signal, and then we have the carrier signal. In the amplitude modulated signal, we have the envelope, which is in this case the amplitude is varying. This means you are seeing amplitude vary kar raha hai. So carrier ke hisab se, yani ki jo मैसेज सिग्नल का जो एम्प्लीट्यूड है उसके रिस्पेक्ट में जो कैरियर की वेब फॉर्म आप यहाँ पे देख रहे हैं ये क्या हो रहा है इसका एम्प्लीट्यूड चेंज हो रहा है यहाँ पे अगर क्या देख रहे हैं आप सिग्नल का जो ये जो मैसेज सिग्नल है इसका एम्प्लीट्यूड यहाँ पे मैक्सिमम है तो यहाँ पे जो मॉडल सिग्नल है इसका भी देख रहे हैं एम्प्लीट्यूड मैक्सिमम यहाँ पे मिनिमम हो रहा है तो यहाँ पे भी एम्बुलेट का जो एम्प्लूट दिस इज ऑल्सो मिनिमम इन दिस वे द एम्प्लूट इज वेरी सो दिस इज इन द केस ऑफ द एम्प्लूट मॉडल सिग्नल नेक्स्ट द क्वेश्चन वाई वी यूज द मॉडेशन these are some factors uh, which can indicates that why we use the modulation first one is the reduction in the antenna height reduction in the antenna height so in this case uh, it totally depends upon the wavelength it means as we know that the e is equal to hf where f is the frequency so e can be equal to hc by lambda it means uh, if you see that Uh, the energy uh, we can correlate the energy with respect to the wavelength so we can say that uh, the uh, lambda which generally depends upon the height means that is the if we take the quarter wavelength then that is uh, as is equal to lambda by 4 so it means it totally depends upon the wavelength so if we go for the uh, uh, you we know that the lambda is also related with the frequency if frequency is higher than lambda is smaller if lambda is higher than frequency is smaller so in this case if we increase the frequency then we can reduce the lambda if lambda is reduced then we can also reduce the height of the antenna isme kya ho raha hai agar aap frequency agar aap increase karte hain agar aap frequency megahertz mein lete hain agar aap megahertz mein frequency lete hain to kahin na kahin kya hoga antenna ka size jo hoga wo reduce kar sakte hain अगर आप फ्रीक्वेंसी हर्ज में ले रहे हैं 
अगर आप हर समय फ्रीक्वेंसी दे रहे हैं तो अगर आप इसमें चेक करें तो जो आपका लेमडा होगा वो तो कहीं ना कहीं क्या जब हाइट आप निकालोगे लेमडा बाई फोर जब आप हाइट आप निकालोगे जब किलोवर्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी आप लेंगे दैट इज इन द किलोमीटर अब किलोमीटर के रिस्पेक्ट में अगर आप देखेंगे एंटीना डिजाइन करना मान लें पॉसिबल नहीं होगा तो इसलिए हम क्या करते हैं वी कैन इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी तो फ्रीक्वेंसी को इंक्रीज करते हैं उसके बाद हम क्या करते हैं वी कैन रिड्यूज द एंटीना हाइट तो दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल वाइल यूज इन द मॉडिशन नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव द टू रिमूव द इंटरफ्रेंस टू रिमूव द इंटरफ्रेंस इट मीन्स द इंटरफ्रेंस प्रॉब्लम कैन बी रिमूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एलोकेशन ऑफ द सेपरेट फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड टू द डिफरेंट मैसेज इन द ट्रांसमिशन नेक्स्ट वी हैव द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग so the multiple number of signals can be transmitted through a single channel at the same time so without modulation multiplexing is not possible next we have the improvement in snr snr is the signal to noise ratio with the help of the some modulation techniques like fm or pcm the so noise can be reduced which helps in improving the signal quality with the help of the signal to noise ratio we can also improve the signal quality so This is also an uh, important factor for the modulation. Next, we have the reduction of the noise. With the help of the modulation, we can reduce the noise. That is, the noise interferes with the lower frequency signal, so the signal becomes stronger. With the help of the higher signal power, which is obtained with the help of the modulation process, so we can reduce the noise. Next, we have the efficient transmission of noise. With the help of the modulation, the signal can be transmitted very efficiently. And effectively from transmitter to receiver. Next, we have the digital modulation scheme. We have the nature of the signal. The nature of the signal can be a, a two types of uh, the signal in this we have. First one is the message signal. Second is the carrier. So we have the two type of signal. आपको दिख रहा है. पहला है message, दूसरा है carrier. जो message होता है, message signal जो होता है, digital modulation के केस में वो data हमारा digital data होता है. और analog modulation के terms में अगर यहाँ पे देखेंगे ये जो डाटा होता है दैट इज इन एनालॉग फॉर्म ठीक है व्हाइल द कैरियर सिग्नल इज सेंसोडल कैरियर सिग्नल सेंसोडल होगा दोनों केस में चाहे वो डिजिटल मॉडल की बात करें या आप एनालॉग मॉडल की बात करें नेक्स्ट वी हैव द सम एग्जांपल ऑफ द डिजिटल मॉडल स्कीम दैट इज इनपुट शिफ्टिंग एएसके इन दिस वी हैव द ए बाइनरी इनपुट सीक्वेंस बाइनरी डाटा इनपुट डाटा डिजिटल डाटा देन वी हैव द कैरियर सिग्नल द सेंसोडल सिग्नल then uh, in this case the, in the ask the amplitude is switching with respect to the input signal this carrier is switching to aap dekh rahe hain yahan pe kya ho raha hai ek carrier signal jo hai iska amplitude ko switch kar raha hai to yahan pe amplitude maximum hoga yahan pe amplitude zero hai yahan pe dekh rahe hain one hai one ke case mein aapka amplitude maximum aa raha hai yahan pe zero hai zero ke respect mein aapka amplitude zero theek hai in this way we have the uh, maximum amplitude and the minimum amplitude minimum is this zero so uh, since in this case We have the amplitude, maximum amplitude or minimum amplitude. So, यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हैं amplitude कहीं पे ज़्यादा है, कहीं पे नहीं है, कहीं पे maximum है, या तो one के corresponding ही switch कर रहा है, amplitude को zero corresponding switch नहीं कर रहा है. तो कहीं ना कहीं this is a, something like a on-off type. So, this is also called as the on-off key. So, so ASK is also called as the on-off key. आप देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे on का मतलब क्या है? One पे switch हो रहा है, ठीक है? The corresponding is amplitude, zero पे switch. Next, we have the analog modulation versus digital modulation. Some parameters for this. Uh, with the help of these, we can differentiate the analog modulation versus digital modulation. We can differentiate both of these. First one is the data rate. With the help of the data rate, we can uh, increase the transition rate. So, in the case of the digital modulation schemes, the data, the data rate is high. The signal channel noise. The channel noise is lower in the case of the digital modulation schemes, while it is higher in the case of the analog modulation schemes. Next is the transmitted power. So, by in the with the help of uh, transmitted power, we we can use the low transmitted power in the case of the digital modulation schemes, while in the analog modulation scheme we require the higher power. Next we have the channel bandwidth. So, proper utilization of the bandwidth we generally use the digital modulation. The digital modulation by the help of the digital modulation we can use the proper channel bandwidth. Then we have the effect of noise and interference. With the help of the digital modulation schemes, we can reduce the noise, and we can also reduce the effect of interference. Next, we have the circuit complexity. The complexity is higher in the case of the analog modulation, where 
and use the circuit complexity in the decision method. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.